very good evening my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking as usual before we go to the analysis we need to check the uh, signals performance on the premium group from angela and thankfully we are doing really very well this is the results uh, of july so far i think she will send the, the remaining of july soon but what we are having right now is really promising we can see that we just had uh, some losses here and there but the profits were actually quite bigger than the losses we can see 140 pips uh, profit on euro and zd uh, sell 120 pips as well uh sorry for the gbp usd and also uh, monday july 1st was full of green a lot of profit for the group members i'm happy for these results i hope it will continue like that and I just need to explain that having some losses some time to time is totally normal. You cannot expect, no matter how good service you have, you cannot expect to have a 100% winning ratio. You cannot, you cannot expect a total, um, how can I say that, continuous profit to come. Forex is about winning and losing. And what we are doing is sometimes losing and we are recovering with bigger profit. That is what we are doing so far. And I'm really proud of the results. Thanks to Angela to her, to her performance and if you want if you would like to join the premium group you can find her uh, contact details in the description of this video so let's now go and talk about the analysis so for let me go to the euro usd first as usual we are checking always the euro usd uh, for the euro usd what i am seeing on the daily chart the pair has already reached this resistance level what we can see here, the same resistance level, it was in the past a support. So this is the new resistance right now. It's creating a resistance number one. And this resistance was in the past a support level. So checking on the past, we don't see that there was really strong support on this level. Meaning, I believe the pair will continue to go more up and this bullish momentum will continue. I don't believe it is going to reverse at this point because again I'm saying on the same level we just see this support here but we can see here there is no support or resistance occurred at all almost nothing this level is not so strong I don't think the reversal is going to be here so most likely what will going to happen that the pair will continue to go more up until hitting on this resistance right here because on this level we can see that we had here a resistance and here and here as well and the same level was also previously a support so if you just check the history we can see that this this level uh, 1.13250 was actually acting as a strong support and a resistance based on the trend direction meaning uh, euro usd should be good for buy until this resistance level and then from this point we need to see any price action indicating any signals for buy uh, sorry for sell i'm sorry for sell um, we can see we can expect either a price action indicating a continuation in the bullish momentum or a reversal but i believe what we care for is the current time the current time euro usd should be good for buy and this is daily chart let's see let's check the four hour chart for our chart, we can see that the, can, the candle is right now on a support level. So on the four hour chart, we can see that we have here a support. We have here a support and the price has closed Friday night above this level. Meaning, I believe the continuation of the support level will continue and the market is expected to go more up until hitting this level. That should be approximately 41 pips of profit. And again, I'm telling you, selling the euro usd if there was no news happen or anything unexpected occurs we can start selling the euro usd on 1.13145 so again euro usd good for buy until this level and then sell that is my expectation for the euro usd let's now move to the pound usd pound usd is showing a similar chart actually if we look carefully at the four hour chart but before that we need to switch now to the daily chart hmm so daily chart is showing really strong bullish uh, momentum here let's go to check the support level 
so let me just draw the line here like that and let me make it as a resistance zone so the resistance zone here we can see that the market was not able to break from this level since December 12 uh, 2018 even here we can see this this long week here representing a really strong rejection on this level so we had here two attempts of the support and here as well uh, the market couldn't even break or enter this uh, support zone then later on June 12 2019 uh, the market tried again but you can see that there was no candle was able to break from this uh, support zone then finally we can see the market tried to make this uh, break from the support it was a fake reversal and the market is now again continuing to go more up meaning there the market should be actually going up because this is a high on demand level so this support zone here is uh, very strong so after checking this on daily chart let's go back to the four hour chart right now so we can know where exactly we can start uh, buying the uh, pound usd so what we are seeing is this support level let me tell you what i did i marked my line here on this support level which has become later a resistance and we can see this candle close friday night has actually broke from this uh, resistance already uh, I think it will just make a small bounce before continue to go more up so uh, the pound USD should actually be good for buy um, almost immediately let me tell you exactly which level we can start buying the uh, pound USD it should be right here let me go back to the one hour now so we can see it more clear so we can expect the pound USD to make a small reversal about like 13 pips then from this level here let me change the color so it will be easier for you to know which one I'm talking about let's make it red so this one here the red one should be good for buy on 1.2535 I believe the pound USD should continue to go more up and this uh, up to uh, starting from this level sorry uh, let me just make it red again uh, blue again okay so let you I don't want to get confused all right that's good so again pound USD should be good for buy from this level and let me tell you until when we can keep the buy order we can keep it until this resistance right here because here we have this resistance you can see it uh, creating the resistance number one and I believe that the pound USD will continue the bullish uh, momentum until reaching uh, this same level of the resistance to create the resistance number two then after that if there was no unexpected news or anything happen we can start shorting the pound USD and it should continue to go more down but that might take some time so let's focus right now on the buy order so that is my expectation for the pound USD let's now go to the AUD USD so again uh, AUD USD is also showing a lot of strength here and we can see that we had here a strong support level right here exactly right here let me just adjust it a little bit yeah it's like that exactly so this is one hour chart go to the daily we can see this uh, yeah that is that, that candle is really strong um, the pound USD is right now on a resistance zone but I believe it will continue rising until hit this resistance level exactly on the same line meaning we can look for buying on the euro uh, on the AUD USD let's go to the four hour chart and again we see similar thing this support right here we have here the support after this bullish uh, momentum or sorry bullish breakout I believe the market will go a little bit down before it's just continue to shoot more up and uh, go all the way to that resistance as mentioned earlier this one here that could be a, a good uh, 45 pips we are looking for and you can start buying the AUD USD on 0 0.70139 hopefully that will be uh, accurate uh, forecast I believe it's a good uh, position yes that should be really good position for buying the AUD USD let's go to the USD CAD USD CAD however is showing really strong bearish momentum 
uh, it has reached here a strong support level right here uh, now I'm on the daily chart and we can see that we had here a support let me just show you here this one so based on my rules we place the line in a way touching both of the top of these uh, tails therefore we can see the pair almost approaching this level it is reaching it so we need to wait and see what will gonna happen I'm expecting a breakout to happen to be honest uh, this this candle here is really strong we need to see how the market will act uh, to it is uh, on tomorrow on Monday but from my experience I can expect that the market will go down all the way until hitting this support level here right here now the, the question is why the reason is this support is not really strong it is a support indeed but if we look at the past we don't see here another support level here there was no support it's just a resistance and we can see this level was ranging on the support level and here as well so this level is not really strong enough however this one is really stronger because we had a reversal happened right on it almost uh, on previous uh, support levels or in the past we can see the support occurred here and here and here similar to this level right here that's why I believe this support is not strong enough it might make a small bounce so if you want to be really accurate of what will gonna happen I think uh, where is my tool I, th I think that the, uh, the USD CAD will go a little bit more down on this support on 1.30129 it's gonna go a little bit more up make a small bounce before it actually starts falling more down that is my expect uh, expectation for the USD CAD and if this happen we can keep the sell order on the USD CAD uh, let me tell you we can start selling the USD CAD starting from 1.30370 keep the position all the way until just to be safe 1.29613 uh, that should be a good uh, 73 or 75 pips of profit hopefully this forecast will be accurate and the USD CAD will reverse indeed let's now jump to the USD JPY now I have given a lot of thoughts about the USD JPY because actually it is somehow confusing now the thing is I'm telling you that this support level is really strong and we can see it keep the position here so this was a support number one and here a support number two and the very same support level it kept the position as a support and right now also another support the thing here this support level is really strong but the, th the problem I'm having with this chart is the fact that this candle closed as a really strong bearish candle it's indicating that the market should actually start to fall more down and that is not really uh, expected looking at the past when we see these strong support levels but uh, if we want to be logical here sorry if we want if you want to be logic let's go to the four hour chart so this pattern is really interesting what I'm expecting here let me mark this support uh, this resistance right here yes so this level I have marked here it was acting as a support as well and then later a resistance and then a support and we can see there was a small bouncing the market market to try to break from this level but it couldn't so after this strong bearish candle right now this bearish breakout we can expect because we have here a support level also let me be clear here we have a support level and the market is right on this support now because of this strong downtrend and the bearish momentum is really strong on the USD JPY what I can expect is this the, the reversal is gonna happen the market will go a little bit more up until this level 108.133 and from this level we can start sell the USD JPY and I believe it will continue to go more down all the way until reaching the support in the end I think it should reach the support I don't believe it will uh, bounce before that uh, I'm not expecting the USD JPY to go up uh, before actually bouncing or co sorry continue to go more down all the way to the support level 
So again, we have here, we should have a good uh, sell point on 108.133 and we can keep the position until 106.858. That should be a sweet 125 pips and let's hope uh, there was there will be no any unexpected news happen or any unexpected tweets from Mr. Trump that can actually uh, ruin it for us. Let's go to the USDCHF, shall we? USDCHF is really showing similar thing, but this time I think it's easier because we can expect for the Euro USD, uh, sorry, sorry, USDCHF to bounce on this support level right here. Let me just show you. Because right now we are on this support level, right? And the market is showing symptoms for a reversal right on this support number two. So what we can look for is the market will continue to go more up until hitting this resistance and then it will continue to fall more down. We can also notice here some uh, pattern of head and shoulders occurring indicating that the market should actually reverse and reach this resistance level right here. Let me just be clear. So we can expect the market to go all the way up again, bouncing from this support level. It will go all the way up here to hit the same, the same resistance level and from this level it will continue to go more down all the way until hitting on this support level. So we can be looking for approximately 125 pips as well. So that is my forecast for the USDCHF. I think it is really good uh, for sell only on this level of 0 0.98696, but not before that. Don't try to sell the USDCHF before reaching this level. Now let's go to the favorite for everyone, which is gold. Uh, favorite for everyone, but not for me. I don't like it. <laughs> Let's see. Now the gold, we can see it ranging for quite long time. We're talking about approximately two weeks. Uh, the gold is ranging. Therefore, it's really, really not safe to make any forecast or uh, take any action against it. But for those who are interested about uh, the gold, the gold, I believe, we can analyze it like this because we have here the support level has been breaking out lately by this bearish breakout uh, bullish breakout candle we can expect the market to continue to go more up after bouncing on this support level then it will continue to go more up now the thing is which i'm worried about this level has not been respected before now gold is very sensitive it's, it's uh, sensitive for the news such as oil uh, and silver as well that's why I'm not trading gold, silver, oil. I'm avoiding them. But we can see here, this one here, this support level, it was supposed to be a support level here. But why didn't it happen? Why it did not reverse? Let me tell you the reason why it didn't re did not reverse. Because the, the pattern, this level here, it occurred right after the bounce of this support level. Uh, sorry, of this resistance. So what we are seeing is similar to this one. Let me tell you. Uh, I'm now uh, just uh, representing what happened like that. So you might tell me, where is the support? Uh, it should be here. You might tell me that the pair should have actually bounced on the support level and continue to go more up. No, this is wrong. It's, it doesn't happen this way because we had here double top. So the, the resistance is now performing the reversal of the pattern, meaning the pair should actually continue to go more down below this support level and then it will continue to go more up. If it continue to go more up like this with a bullish momentum, then you can look for buying on the same support level. Only after that, not the opposite. So right now we can see it continuing after uh, going be below this level, then again go up above the, sub the same support level and from this point, we can start buying the gold. So again, what is the, my forecast for the gold? Uh, I believe the gold should actually go a little bit more down, like 45 pips, hitting the same support level. And from the same level here, let me just tell you, uh, just wait for the gold to go down all the way to this level of 1410 1410.57 then from this point you can start buying the gold and to be safe without uh, risking a lot 
you can exit your trade right on this resistance right here expecting approximately 130 140 pips of profit on buying gold that should be more than enough and I really think in general all in all if you want to look at the bigger picture gold should be going down if we want to see it as a resistance zone the gold in general should be actually going down so what, what I'm trying to tell you here is go with the go with the trend go with the pattern because the pattern showing an upper momentum therefore we can just buy the the gold on this support level but don't keep your position for a long time because again I'm telling you gold is supposed to be reversed after this resistance it might actually start to go more down we need to wait and see what will gonna happen we cannot just rush and decide how it will go but for the meantime uh, based on daily chart and four hour chart gold should be good for short buy uh, sorry uh, buy for short time and that's it it's good for buying only for short time it's not really a scalping it's just good buy good 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 buy <laughs> good for buy uh, just in a short time I hope you understood my point so guys uh, that was it that was my forecast for this week I really hope it will be a very profitable week for everyone and I hope you my friends will enjoy uh, trading this week so until then my friends uh, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.